In this video, we'll bring some aquifer parameters into our model, specifically hydraulic conductivity, or HK. We'll do that with pilot points, which are places where we have more specific information. We'll start with HK. We have two shape files, one called Cori's. It's for one area of the model. And then we have another named Olivium for another area of the model. We need to make coverages for these. And we'll start with HK Cori. Click horizontal K and we'll leave this in layer one. Okay. Now we'll take the information from the shape file, Cori to Cori. Next, we see the names and the values. Next, and finish. Now we'll do a new coverage for our alluvium. We'll call this HK alluvium. So horizontal, also in layer one. It's the top layer of the model. And we will take it from the shape file, alluvium to alluvium. Okay, we have a name here. There's a negative value because this is a placeholder for pilot points. Okay, and you can see our area of alluvium here. We'll take this into Modflow. First, we'll map the quarries. Map to Modflow. And then we'll do the alluvium next because it covers an area over the quarries. Let's go ahead and check. If we go to Modflow, HK, right click Properties, we see layer one, this is the top of the model. And if we scroll, we see different values and we see our negative one. This is all good. We need to add a value for layer two, that's beneath layer one. Your value may say something else. We're going to put a constant in, constant to layer, and we're going to make this 0.00999. Okay. Okay. So now let's replace the placeholder with some information. We have our pilot points. And we'll take these. Let's have a look. Pilot points come from an Excel file, and your columns may look different, but here you can see hydraulic conductivity. We have specific yield, transmissivity, some other well numbers. Okay. We won't put these into a coverage. We're going to convert these to a 2D scatter set. And here we see in the scatter each column heading as its own file. And what we'll do now is go to Modflow, Parameters, and we'll initialize from the model. So the model is going to look for our placeholders. And it sees one for hydraulic conductivity, HK. We'll click on the triangle. We're going to tell the model we want this to be pilot points. And now we're going to click in the square that looks blank. And here we can see our 2D interpolation options. Here we see the data set. It's choosing total depth. We actually want hydraulic conductivity. So let's change this meters per day. Inverse distance weighted is fine. We'll leave all the other options. Okay. 
And this river, let's just change this to 100. You may not have this, yours may look different, but for this model, it's 100. Okay.